Okay, I just got an email from a student that was working on this problem. And uh, they were having problems that asked for the weekly stock price data for Target and Walmart. Uh, and they want uh, 2015, 16, and 17. And they want to use the adjusted close. So, um, and they say, and it has a link here to go to Yahoo Finance, and they're having prob problems getting the data. And I see why, because Yahoo Finance, often they change your website. And let's, let's just go ahead and look at it. And uh, we can go here. When you go to Yahoo Finance, like we could put Target in here. We want to look for the one Target Corporation. The ticker is TGT, Target. We click on that. And normally you're going to, you normally we do it here, you go to historical data. And you could download, you could actually change the price. You want to change the dates here. So this would be from the problem they want from 01, 01, 2015. That's starting date. And then all the way through 2017. So that'd be 12, uh, 31, 2017, right? They're going to put those days in and then they said weekly. So you're going to go weekly. Yeah. So now we have all our data, but the problem is you used to be able to go here and download it and, and download it directly to Excel. Now you can't do that anymore. So one way you can get around is you could highlight. I'm going to show you the hard way first and I'll show you the easy way to do this. So all you could do is you could just highlight the data. And then when you're, when you're on one of those highlighted areas, you right click and go copy. And then we'll go ahead and open up Excel. And let me get that into the, hopefully this will show up on the screen. Let me get this into the screen so we can see it. So then, so then we can paste, we can paste it in here. We can go right click. I like to paste this as text, so I'm going to go paste special and paste this text. And go OK. OK. And we can, we can highlight all these and then go between and double click to auto fit. And we can see we want this column adjusted close. Now adjusted close, what that does, it takes into account any dividends that have been paid. It folds that into the, into the price. So, so you're getting that you're basically adjusted close shows the whole return. It also adjusts for stock splits. Um, now one way you could, you could have done this. You could have went equal stock history. That's a function on Excel. And I could have put in TGT and, um, uh, the start and end date. I'm not going to really show you how to use that, but that just gives you the close. It doesn't give you the adjusted close, right? So, so Excel does have a way to download stocks, but it's, I recommend using adjusted close like this problem says. Let's go back to the problem. Uh, let me just paste that in here so we can see it. So I can paste it in here. So that was the problem. Now, so they want, so they wanted Walmart, right? So this was target, but anyway, let's just go ahead and I'm going to highlight these and then go delete because we don't need that because we just want the adjusted close. So that was target. So I'm going to go TGT just to remember that's target. And then we're going to go back to Yahoo finance. And now I'm going to go in here and go Walmart, WMT. And then go to our history. So this is kind of a little bit of work, right? And we're going to change the dates again to uh, 01012015. Down here, it's going to be 12312017. Whoop, try that again. 1231. Okay, let's try that. 12, 31, 2017. Okay, and then go done. And then go weekly again. And we're highlighted again. Right click where you're on the, one of the shaded areas and go copy. And then we'll go ahead and paste that one in here. Paste special, text, okay. I like to keep the dates just uh you never know if you're going to need them. They might be different. They probably are going to be different between the two. Get rid of the volume again. Okay. So, so we've downloaded the weekly 
weekly prices, but like I say, the adjusted close has these little blanks, so they can kind of be a little bit hard to use. But it asks for the arithmetic average weekly return for Walmart. So what I could do, I'm, I'm going to go over here. Again, we're going to call this Walmart, WMT. So what I could do, I could filter the data first. So I could go equals filter. We'll just do it Walmart, for instance. So I want to filter this array. Shift in down to get the whole array. And then comma. Let me scroll back up. And we want to include wherever these. Let me just scroll down and get it that way. Wherever these. Are not equal to that's going to not equals like that in Excel to a blank cell. So I hit enter. So then, so what I did, these are dates, right? So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these and make them dates. Short date. Okay, so you can see. So now we, so this is Walmart again. Remember, that's where we, we referenced. We reference Walmart. So now the other thing is now, so we have, so it actually, you see how it left the blanks out? So for December 7th, there were two observations, now there's this one. So anytime there's a blank, it skipped that. All right, so we got rid of that. So that's what that filter function is, you know, kind of a handy function to use. But now I wanted, I wanted to have it uh, with, the, with the, the older dates on top and the newer dates on the bottom. So I can wrap this. What I can do, I can go to the front. I can go sort. And go to the end. I want to sort by the date column. You can look at this. It says by it says sort index. I mean what column? So this is column one, column two. Well, I'm going to sort it by column one. And you can see that I don't know it's sorted it. So it has starts on one one two fifteen and goes all the way down. So it just actually flipped it around. Okay, and then we can calculate the returns. So I can go equals this divided by this minus one to get the return and send that down. And then from there, if I highlight this, I could highlight it and look here. Look down here, we can see that the the average return is 0 0.00150. So we can go back here to our problem and go 0 0.00150. Submit and Oh, I should have went out another place. I think they went out to, yeah, another way you can get average. We could go here and go equals average and just average these, right? Shift in down and you get, we're off by a little bit. That was 0 0.00150. Zero, and I think they wanted to, how many places? It doesn't tell you how many places, but I think when I put the answer in, they put it in that many places. So that was, we're off by just a little bit from what they had on the problem, but, but that's pretty close. Point, I think it was 0 0.00152, it said the, was the answer here. So we're off by just that last digit, just by one. Close enough, okay? So that's a hard way to do it, because you have to do that for everyone. So you're gonna have to do the same thing for target then. The target, you'd have to go here and put uh, the same thing we did here, right? So, um, so now I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. So let me open up another, another, uh, well, what I'll do is, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go back, I'll go to the internet and I'm going to go to something called bulk stock downloader. Okay. And the one we want is this one from Jason Strimple. I use this quite often and we're going to, so I'm going to use it. So I'm not going to, I could actually have a list of file with all my, with my, uh, uh, stocks that I want a text file. One time I put all the file, all the, all the stocks for the S&P 500 and I chose it from that file. We're just going to do a couple tickers here. We'll do, uh, we will do, so target, comma, Walmart. And then I'll also, well, this is the S&P 500. You may need that later, so I'll just leave that there just to show you. That's the ticker for the S&P 500. And we want the close and we want it weekly. We want the adjusted values. Remember they said for adjusted close. And we want from January 1st, 2015 to December, oops, December 
31st, 2017. Okay. And uh, you can leave everything else as default. You just want to make sure you change that to weekly, put in the dates, put in the tickers you want, and then you just go get series. So it says that found the, found the tickers. It tells you who had found them. You just click up here to get the Excel file. So it says it's blocked. I'm going to go say keep. And then I'm going to open it. And so now, so now we have, I'm going to go ahead and go enable editing. And just let me take these and put them into that other spreadsheet. So I'm going to copy these. Well, actually, I could just copy this whole sheet over there if I want. I just go right click, move or copy. I want to move it to that new, that other one I have and move it to the end and create a copy and go, okay. And then, uh, I can go close this one cause I don't need it anymore. And now I just have a, remember this is the sheet we're working on. This is the second sheet. You can see it gave you all these. So if we want, so if we want to do the returns, we just go, uh, equals. And this is already, by the way, this is already sorted in the right order from the older, oldest to the newest. So I can just go like this and then I can go equals this divided by this minus one, copy it across and send it down. And if we highlight Walmart, if I highlight the Walmart returns, you can see that it's a uh, 0 0.0001501 again. Okay. Or we could just do this. We could go equals this. And then we can go uh, average. I go equals average. Highlight these. Shift in down. Enter. And copy it across. And there's a moment that's that same answer we got again. Okay. Uh, so the next question it asks, uh, it says you have a portfolio of 70% in target and the remainder in Walmart. What's the, what's the balance? Well, I could go here. W stands for weight. I go 70% in target. Walmart's going to be equal to one minus 70%. Oop, I forgot the equal sign. Sorry equals one minus 70%. So we know Walmart's going to be 30%. And I could calculate the, the portfolio return. And the portfolio return, I guess I should call this average return, right? Because we don't know what's the average or what. All right, so the portfolio return is just simply the weighted average. So it's that times that plus that times that. So an easy way to do that on Excel is I can do the sum product. Whoop, what did I do? I didn't want that. I want to look for it now. Back to my Excel. Sum product. I don't know why I did that. Of uh, these, comma, the, whoop, these, comma, and then these. And enter. And that's a portfolio return. So it's uh, 0 0.00. Okay. So that, that's right. That sounds right. 0 0.000582. What you can do sometimes is you can click this and go copy. And go here. Submit. Okay. Um, so anyway, I, I'm not going to do the entire problem for you. You're just basically wondering how to get, how to get those, uh, how to get those now that Yahoo finance has changed. So that's two ways you could do it. You could use bulk stock downloader or, um, another thing you might be able to do, like, let's go here and go into TGT again. I haven't tried it. I'm not sure if this works. When you go into history, if you click on this download, there's a paywall, right? You might be able to sign in and, and for free and be able to download it. I don't know. I haven't tried that. I have a feeling you're going to have to pay some kind of uh, thing on Yahoo in order to download. But this time you might be able to create an account and sign in. And you may see it says view all features. So that might work too. I don't know. It appears to be behind a paywall though. No. 
So anyway, that's, that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, subscribe to my video. If you want to subscribe to my video, my picture will come up here. Click on that if you haven't subscribed already and I'll let you subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. Bye.